Hello everyone, I'm Marcel from Buddha Bike. Um, this is my new microphone holder, a giant spoon. I hope you like it. Um, we just finished our new web shop where you can customize uh, your bicycle. So you can go and check it out at buddhabike.com. Um, today I would like to talk about the new model that we just developed. This is based on a new electric shifting system for all of we made a shifting system that is a game changer. Currently, this system is only available for the Roloff Gear Hubs because it's using the Roloff E14 um, shifting system that was developed for the Bosch e-bikes. This is an early bird product. The, the development is, is currently running, but when we made the first prototypes, it was so good that we knew that we would like to make it available as soon as possible. So yeah, please, Keep in mind that it's an early bird product. It has some downsizes. I will talk about it later. But this way that we made it available now, you can use this system one, two or three years earlier than the final product. So why we are using this, this system now? Um, the Buddha Bike Alpine is a gravel bike that's using um, the roll of uh, gear hub with the drop handlebars, the roll box Gabla system and we knew that we can make this system working better. So we were thinking about what development can be done so that it's, going, it's becoming a better product. The main problem was that the assembling is a bit too complicated. The Gabler Robox system is working fine, but you have to set it really precisely because it's a mechanical uh, cable system. And when you are doing the shifting, the brake lever needs hard wrist twist, such a nice word, wrist twist. And also it's using the Gabla Robox system with a long uh, cable, the mechanic cables, and it has to be set really precisely. And uh, we try to find something that uh, the usage of it is more comfortable. We used pinion, we tested pinions, we love pinions. But when, when we are talking about uh, trekking bikes or um, gravel bikes with a 35 or 40 millimeter uh, wide tires, uh, the resistance matters. So the pinion has a higher resistance and for a downhill or mountain bike, we would, we would choose the pinion. But for these bikes, the roll-up system works better. Because we are, we are bikers and um, if we have to choose uh, uh, system for a 60 kilometer trip, we would choose the roll-off. So we went with the roll-off. We, we are doing this company based around experiences and uh, until now it was working just fine and people loved what we what we imagined. So that's why we chose roll-off. So that's also interesting to mention that until now with the mechanical system, we didn't use a roll-off bike. Everyone had different uh, models, but when we made this new uh, shifting system, this new roll of uh, electric shifting system. Uh, everyone in the company is now using these bikes because that's so good that everyone loves it. This system works from a power bank. So that's the important part that this, this roll of E14 system was designed for Bosch e-bikes. So it needs a battery to work. Um, we are developing a system that's going to be integrated into the frame, but currently it's a really easy solution. We put the power bank into the, the bolt on top tube pack and just a little uh, Type-C uh, cable is coming out from it, so it's, it's, it looks clean, it's working easily, it's easy to charge. We are using the Type-C PD standard, which has a robust protocol and it's well protected. We are using the TRP brake levers, which has two buttons on the side. And um, this is the same system that they are using for the pinion system, so it's work, it works perfectly. We are using the mostly used finger, the middle finger, and, um, and we are easily shifting down and upwards. 
Currently, it's suggested to use the with the Dynamo lighting system because the power button of the light is not ready yet, and uh, it needs the battery because uh, you cannot turn it off. So that's the best solution currently. It's really easy to charge. It's uh, using USB-C, and um, you just you just take the power bank out and charge it and put it back on the bike, and it's ready to use. The system works just like the mechanical version. You also need to ease pedaling when shifting, so just like clutching. Um, you already did that with the earlier versions of the roll-off, the mechanical version, so it's not, a, not nothing new. It's important to know that between gear 7 and 8, there's a multiplier, because the roll-off uh, gear hub has 14 speeds, but it's basically two multiply seven, and this multiplier is in between seven and eight gears. And uh, this system is not very sensitive about uh, wrong shifting or pedaling, but between these two uh, gears, it's uh, very sensitive and it can cause a hiccup. And then it's tucks for a second and then drops down to the first gear. It's really easy to get to it um, after one two uses you know that what happened and it's easy to and it's easy to know the solution you just wait a little and then go back to shifting we are working on the solution for it but currently this is a thing that you have to know that know about i don't know if i already mentioned that but this system is also available for the pools model with the with the straight handlebar and uh, there's a small well-made button set for the handlebar and the shifting works just the same I would like to mention again an important section. This is uh, this is an early bird product. There are some holes on the warranty system. We are thinking in a logic way instead of a bureaucratic uh, mindset. We thought about the potential risks and potential problems, and the possibilities are so low that we are brain brave enough to put this bike on the market. So there are a few concerns that we have to talk about since this is an early bird product, as I mentioned. First, the Bosch connection. The E14 system, the Roloff electric shift shifting system, was designed for the Bosch e-bike system. So it needs power. So we cut down the Bosch connector and we connect a 12 volt Type-C connector. So until now it was powered by the Bosch. Now it's powered by the power bank. 12 watt is 12 watt. Not only Bosch can do 12 watt. So this is a really easy task. And yes, the system needs protection, but it's protected in several ways. First, the PD standard, which is strict. The Type-C PD adapter, which outputs 12 volts when correctly negotiated. And of course, the roof has protection in itself. So there is no realistic chance of bad current damaging the unit. The other concern, with Bosch, the torque is cut when shifting. So it does this for you automatically. Um, the thing is that you had to do that already with the mechanical roll-off. So that's not a big thing, big thing. And also we tried to hard break it and couldn't. We don't recommend you to do that. But it's, it's not sensitive, only between 7 and 8 years, as I already mentioned. So, another potential concern that we have to talk about is what if something breaks in the roll-off system itself that is not connected to the electric shifting system. Worst case scenario, roll-off could deny warranty because it wasn't installed as officially intended. But in reality, roll-off failures are very rare and they are not known for uh, rejecting claims but there's a small risk of extra cost falling on you. And the last concern that I would like to talk about is what if the electric system fails? Um, we tested it for a long time, no issues, but there's a small, small chance that it can happen. If something breaks, you have to cover it at your own cost because we cannot investigate if a, if a, a wrong power bank was connected or something like that. It's the part of the early bird risks. If we thought that the issues would happen, we wouldn't release this bike. Um, if something happens, we provide professional support, 
but we cannot cover the costs. Uh, in exchange, we release this bike in a very fair price and uh, you can have this amazing shifting system at an early phase. And even if you need to spend extra later, the price performance ratio, ratio remains excellent. We are not afraid to talk about our future plans, unlike other huge companies who overprice their development. Um, if someone can do these products in the same price and quality ratio, great, we welcome them as our supplier. We are developing an internal battery system with a small controller that can use the dynamo power for charging and can accept a 12 volt e-bike lights um, instead of the dynamo. This is cheaper, more efficient and can make the whole system unified 12 volts. Also later we will bring more e-bike features, not the motor, but some of them. And these will be a really affordable products, retrofit products. But it's, it's really important to know that it's not easy to change it. It's not a typical DIY to do it for yourself. And of course we cannot give warranty when someone else is, installs it. Let's talk about Roloff's plan. We don't know anything concrete or direct, but let's think uh, logically. The concurrencies have an electric system that is working and it's out on the market. The chain-based electric systems are out on the market for a long time. And if they don't step ahead, they will lose against competitors. But there's no official news, even at the 2025 Eurobike show, there was no anything official. And if they make a product, an electric uh, hub, there's 99% chance that they will not change the hub. So if they come up with a, with a brand new electric system and somehow we disappear or something happens, you, you just change the system that you, you chose and you have an official roll-off electric system with an official roll-off hub. So if we have to guess, um, more than two years and less than five years, they will release a electric system. But until then, you can use this one, which is already on the market and you can buy it. With all that in mind, you can decide whether to join the early bird program. Despite the risks, it can give you a lot of great experiences. The shifting is much smoother compared to the Shimano GRX shifter. There's two buttons that gives you directly uh, gear changing, no mechanical cables that stretches, and with a long press, you can change gears automatically. Go to budabike.com and look for the E14 Alpine or Cools model to customize your dream bike. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, we give you a full support and answer your questions at info at budabike.com. Thank you for watching.